in Aztec and most Mesoamerican mythologies, there is the land of the dogs. When you die, you either go to Itwitkartonotiu, which is the sun god place. If you die as a warrior or if you die in childbirth, you live with the sun god. I also like that childbirth is considered a form of war for them. That's poetic. You also go to Itwitklan Tlalokan, which is so you go if you drown or get struck by lightning, you live with the moon god. But most people go to Mictlan, which is the land of the dead. And to get to the land of the dead are all of those challenges the Lord of the Dead set forth for Shalot and Quetzalcoatl. And you have to go through nine of them. The first one, before you get to Mictlan, is La Tierra de los Perros, the land of the dogs, which is also Itzquitlan. Itzquitlan. I, it's on my notes. Anyway, um, Itzquitlan. That's the word. Aztec. Cool. Land of the dogs. There is a river, but only if you loved a dog in your lifetime can you cross the river. Were you kind to dogs? You could go. They would help you. Your dog would likely help you if it was there. Apparently is the story. In other Mesoamerican mythologies, it's just that your dog waits for you and it will take you through the nine lands of the dead so you don't have to go alone. I think that's quite poetic as well.